morning everyone and welcome to gaming and still life and today we are going to cover war at war now war at war is created by a company named muddy Pixel. Now in this game, you control airplanes, helicopters, and combat boats. And the purpose is to defend your carrier from relentless alien onslaught. It's a qualif it, it classifies itself as a sim light horde mode game, drawing inspiration from early arcade games. Now even on their main uh, page, it says caution may produce some sickness. Now the game is $12.57 currently, um, down from its original price of $16.99. Uh, there's basically three settings in this game. There's three pilotable vehicles and there's horde mode and free flight mode. Right now it's in early access so more scenarios and vehicle types will be added um, as more feedback from the community. Now I saw a uh, swir Swerviver uh, playing this game and it looked really fun and really interesting. Um, I think he even gives it a glowing recommendation. But this game is very, very early. Uh, it is almost unplayable at the moment. Uh, it's very finicky. I had to uh, rotate between three different controllers um, to be able to control and play this game. Um, the graphics uh, look good from a distance, but uh, they have this muddiness to them. And the controls or the planes feel heavy and not um, none of the uh, three crafts uh, felt nimble or enjoyable to play. Um, basically, there's three different scenarios, and the only differences are what's in the background. On one, uh, there'll be some icebergs. On another one, there'll be a giant alien ship, even though you can't interact with it. And then on another one, it'll be like the ship that's crashed on the Earth. But basically, all three scenarios are the same. This is not a VR simulator in any way shape or form this reminds me of uh, a tech demo uh, with a alien type of movie cliche uh, type of movie kind of like Independence Day it reminds me a lot about that but it's no fun to play it's very boring I didn't get no enjoyment at all from it. So this is definitely a pass. Do not buy this game. I mean, if you watch here, uh, the plane I mean, there's no story to this game at all. It's just they just throw you into these situations and they just tell you, um, go for it. And I have no way to control flaps. Uh, basically, I'm, it's just very simple inputs with the plane. Uh, all that instrumentation is just for show. No, 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 no. 
I mean, from a distance, uh, the game looks really cool. You can basically, uh, there's a toggle on your joystick where you can be outside the plane or you can be inside the plane. I found the only way while you're flying the jet that you can really aim at things is if you're inside because it's totally unplayable outside. It's just for show. I mean, I will give it that. I mean, the graphics look okay, but there's a fuzziness to them. I don't know how to explain it. And the areas are definitely very limited. And it just has that constant music in the background and the chattering on the voice box. And it just doesn't sound like it's bringing me into the immersion. And in order for me to get more ammo, it wants you to fly through these things and pick up ammo along the way. Crazy load times. I crashed. This is training. And this is one of those games where I couldn't use my second computer to record. So there's three uh, things. There's flight training, play rookie, and play top gun. Those are the three scenarios. And those are the only scenarios that there are. And the only thing that changes between them is flight training basically there's no enemies on the screen you're just flying around and then so basically you really only have two modes play rookie and play top gun and the only thing that changes is when one scenario there's a big ship in the background but you can't reach it so really this game is just a tech demo with no story no nothing it just throws you into this little section of a game and says here have some fun but it's not that fun so, I do like the way the um, the uh, character right there is animated and it's really detailed for VR especially I thought That's me accidentally uh, letting go a bomb. And that's really what I wanted to play. I wanted to try the jets, but it seems like every time I got in the jet, I always did something, I blew it up, or it didn't last very long. The boat is even worse. You're just riding around on the water, uh, shooting things with um, directional firepower the way you're looking at it is where your machine guns are aiming which I hate that because basically you're trying to break your neck looking at enemies uh, trying to aim at them with your neck the canopy was very weird it felt like there was no glass there it just basically felt like it was empty. Uh, I highly recommend uh, if you want to get a really cool flight simulator that you can set it on almost arcade. It's a uh, World War II uh, type of game. It's called Ill 2 um, Battle of Stalingrad. Awesome game. Yeah, that's all this game is. I was very disappointed. Um, there's just not much to it. Yep, you get a giant spacecraft in the air with one. And then the other one, you get a crashed spaceship in the other scenario. Just boring.
Boring, boring. That was just very uh, a big letdown. I thought it was going to be more of an arcade something. It, it just seemed very not even demo ish. Uh, they had no presentation, no explanation, no story, no nothing. It was just like, here you go, very simple controls. Um, I was hoping for, you know, something with some kind of story, but it, it just, it was nothing, nothing at all. Um, uh, which was disappointing because I thought it was going to be a lot better than it was. Um, but yeah, stay away from this right now. It is early access. Uh, it is very not finished. Uh, it's three scenarios which are all pretty much exactly the same and you don't do anything and it's not that fun uh, right now at all. Uh, it has some kind of neat graphics but they're muddy and blurry when you get to a certain point and uh, I just don't recommend this game at all uh, right now. Uh, I wish I didn't get it uh, but it looked really fun but I think it's important that I tell you to stay away from this game because it's not fun at all. Yeah, not even in an arcade, arcade type of sense. But that's just my opinion. Um, let me know if anybody else has tried it. And uh, I want to hear if anybody liked it. Uh, I did not like it. Uh, I think that maybe if they develop this a little bit more. It's just that the core gameplay mechanics weren't fun. And if the game's not fun... And it's not engaging and, and it didn't feel the controls didn't feel tight uh, it wasn't even close to like an Eve Valkyrie that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for another Eve Valkyrie where I can just get in there and it feels you know even if it just has multiplayer or something but this had nothing nothing at all um, and let down all right uh, thank you very much guys uh, right now uh, it seems like it's just it's hard to try to pick the games that are good and uh but slowly you know and we'll try to uh, i don't know we'll see what's uh coming out that's any good that john lazarus looked pretty cool so i might try that next uh let me know what you guys think if you guys have heard anything cool that's come out recently uh let me know and um i'll check it out all right have a good night